Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about a problem where we have 20 people in the room and uh, we are looking for a probability that at least two people have birthday on the same day. So they could be three people, they could be four people and they have birthday on the same day. So to calculate uh, this probability, if we calculate in a direct way, it will be complicated because we have to calculate different scenarios. Suppose if two people have birthday on the same day or three people have birthday on the same day. So instead of that, what we will do is we will calculate the probability that no one has the birthday on the same day. So probability of no one has birthday on same day. So how will we calculate that probability? For this, uh, let's uh, assume that we have, so we have 20 people, so each people have to have a birthday, right? So we have 20 spots. And uh, so we can say that for the first person, so this is first person, uh, he can have birthday on any day, right? So for him, there are 365 options. But for the second person, he cannot have the birthday on the same day as the first person because we are trying to calculate the probability that no one has the same birthday. So in that case, we will have 364 options left for him, right? Now if we cal look at the third person, we have 363 options left for him. So if we go same way, uh, when we reach uh, uh, 20th person, uh, we will be left with 365 minus uh, 19 right so now all we have to do is now multiply all these terms so if you multiply all these terms this will be equal to 365 multiplied by 364 multiplied by 363 and so on right and this can also be written in another way and that will be equal to 365 factorial divided by now if you uh, look here we went until 19 so we can write as 365 minus 20 factorial so what is uh, So what is 365 minus 20? So that is equal to 345. And this number is 346. So because we have to multiply until 346, so we can write it as 365 minus 20, which will start from 345, right? So again, this can be written as 365 multiplied by 364 and so on and we go until 346 right and uh, then we have 345 but that 345 and so on but now we also have 345 uh, multiplied by 344 so and and so on so these two can cancel out each other and we are left with the same number we come up before so these are the number of uh, possibilities when two people will not have the same birthdays but what are the possibilities the total number of possibilities because for the probability we have to also calculate the total number of probabilities so total number of probabilities uh, you have to look again at the number of seats so the first person can have 365 options for his birthday right so this is first person now because we are calculating the total number of possibilities for the second person there is no restriction he can have a birthday on any day because these are the total number of possibilities so even for the second person so he can have 365 days to choose from and then same for the third person so these are total total count 
right? so this will be equal to multiply multiply and then we go so on and totally total that will be equal to 365 raised to power 20 now to calculate the probability all we have to do is divide this term 365 factorial divided by 365 minus 20 factorial multiply by 365 to power 20 so that is the answer so this is the probability that no one has birthday on same day now if we have to calculate at least one person has or not at least one it will be two two persons have birthday on uh, same day so that will be equal to 1 minus this probability so that will be equal to 1 minus 165 divided by 365 minus 20 factorial over 365 raised to power 20 so that will be your final answer so I hope uh, this uh, makes sense and uh, if you don't understand the uh, some of the concept you might want to check us uh, check our videos on uh, basic concepts of counting and permutation and probability and then this problem will be more easier to understand so i hope this video helped and i'll see you next time